Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think Noodles for August 27th. I won't be able to get all of the questions this week, but I've saved the ones I didn't get to, and I'll get to them next week. Before we start, don't forget to ask your questions in the comments below. The first one comes to us from X Toontown Freak X12, and it asks, Are you excited for the new CP party coming the 23rd? Well, it's since it's the 27th, the party's already here, and it's a pretty good party, although I wish that the scavenger hunt was a little bit more challenging. Blazer19784 asks, is there any other type of music besides approaching Nirvana like the one you used in the Insider's Party wrap-up? Yeah, there are a number of different royalty-free music services. Uh, Machinima Sound is one that I use as well, and there's a few others, but some of them cost a lot of money. So approaching Nirvana and Machinima Sound are the ones I use the most. Apple CPPS asks, why do you still play Club Penguin and Pop Tropica if you're out of college? For the same reason you do, it's fun! Thummy CP's Angel and the CP News both ask the same question. And they both ask why I haven't answered everyone's questions. And as you know, I just get too many sometimes and I can't catch up. So sometimes your questions get delayed or they're questions I've already answered in previous episodes. And to the CP News 05, I'm so sorry, we do have something special. JMichael3CP asks, do you like waffles? I've already answered that, yes I do. And could I show my face in the background of the next Ask Think Noodles video? Not yet, I'm still not ready for that. Makes me nervous thinking about it, so I will one day, I promise, but not yet. Jackson Shepard asks, if my CP friends thing still works, and when is the next Road to Captain Think Noodles coming out? My friend list on Club Penguin is still glitched. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. And the next Road to Captain Think Noodles is going to start probably by the end of this week. I haven't played it yet, but it's going to be Reality TV Island. Sirboss43 asks if I'm related to Captain Sparkles. No, I know who he is, but I am not related to him. Mr. Superkid1001 asks if I've played RuneScape, and no, I have not ever played it. SME899 asks if I have an Xbox or Xbox Live. Yes, I have an Xbox with Xbox Live. Flower Dancing one asks, if you were in charge of creating the next Pop Tropica Island, what would you call it and what would it be about? Well, since Pop Tropica already has done kind of a baldness themed island in Spy Island, I guess I would have to do something with noodles and you know what? I would actually reprogram the supervillain island because I think that was a good idea. But what I would do is I would make it so each of the villains was stealing some essential ingredients to making noodles from Pop Tropica. And once you defeat all four, you saved Pop Tropica so that they can eat noodles again. The next person asks, when it's the fruit party, will you try to eat five fruits per day? Yes, I actually already do try to eat five fruits per day because I like fruit. Brandon Cunningham asks, do you like Rockhopper's new background? I do like the new background and you guys can see it right here. What do you guys think about the uh, tropical background that Rockhopper has for the new party? The next two people ask if I have ever, 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 get a top 10 finish on any Pop Tropica island. No, I haven't yet, but one day I will. I'll probably have to finish all the islands so that I learn just about everything about Pop Tropica before I'll become really proficient and be able to beat the new islands and become a top 10 finisher. The next person asks, did you notice Mickey Mouse mark on the island lunar calling? If no, go to your blimp and look at the center of the moon. Well, check it out. You're right. I didn't notice that. That's a good eye. The next two people ask if I play Angry Birds. Yes, I have various Angry Birds games on my iPhone. Blazer19784 asks, are you going to keep playing Pop Tropica once you've beaten all the islands? Yeah, of course, especially when new ones come out. I don't think I'm going to play the old islands again, but I'll continue playing as soon as a new island comes out. BunnyXCP asks, do I go on Chicken Smoothie because you get a free noodle when you join? <laughs> what is Chicken Smoothie? <laughs> Sounds kind of gross. Penguin X Rock asks, how come someone called you Justin and can you do Red Dragon Island next? That's because my name, my real name is Justin and I can't do Red Dragon Island next, although I've seen a lot of requests for it and I'm not sure why, that kind of makes me a little bit scared of it. The next one's reality TV and I'm just trying to do them all in order. Blazer19784 asks, will Grazer be at my next party? Of course he will, he loves to come to Club Penguin Insider's parties. Ben10306 asks, what's your eye color? My eyes are green. The next person asks, what's your hair color? And my hair is dark brown. Mr. Red Axeman asks, do you know why it won't let me watch any YouTube videos? No, I don't, and I feel sorry for you because you're missing out on a great episode of Ask Think Noodles. 
The Captain Awesome 101 asks, how long did you get your membership and how much was it? And two, when did you get married? I always buy annual membership and I think it costs $57.95 because it's a cheaper way to keep membership for the whole year. And I got married about three years ago. Chocolate Webkins 9090 asks, what is your favorite kind of ice cream? Now you're, you're specifying ice cream, so I'm not gonna include gelato in this because to me, gelato is a little bit different. But as far as ice cream, I recently had a flavor called Zen Butter, and it's at the Chinatown Ice Cream Factory here in New York. They say it's a sesame ice cream with peanut butter in it, and I am telling you, I dream about that ice cream. I'm not kidding. Mikey the Cool Hero asks, uh, what do I like doing in my free time? Do I still watch cartoons? And can I be his daddy? First of all, can't be your dad. <laughs> Second, what I like doing in my free time when I'm not on vacation, I like walking around the city and uh, taking pictures. I really like my camera and I try to be a decent photographer. And yeah, I still watch cartoons, but there are more of the adult variety like Archer, South Park, Family Guy. I even watch The Simpsons. Brandon Cunningham asks, do you think Tropica is getting easier or harder? Well, it depends on what you compare it to. If you compare it to some of the earlier islands like early Pop Tropica Island and Shark Tooth Island, I'd say it's getting harder. But then when you compare it to other islands like Astronites, I would say it's getting easier. So I'd say they've kind of found a middle ground with the difficulty and it's kind of more medium difficulty. Mr. Super Kid 1001 asks, if there was a time that you couldn't do YouTube and play Club Penguin and Pop Tropica in Free Realms, well, <laughs> If that time came, I guess I would have to go outside. Cory Rock 66 asks, "Have you ever been Rick Rolled on YouTube?" Not that I know of. What is your What is my favorite episode of South Park? Actually, my favorite episode of South Park is the South Park movie because they were able to do things in that movie that they just couldn't quite do on TV. Who do I like better on Smosh, Ian or Anthony? Mmm, that's tough. Uh. I think I'm gonna have to go with Anthony. Zalin M123 asks, have you ever been to Toronto? Yes, I actually have been to Toronto. I went through the Toronto airport and got on a bus in Toronto and met someone about three hours north of Toronto. Yoshi Vidi says, since you're a fan of Family Guy, who is your favorite character? My favorite character is Glenn Quagmire. Smart24351 asks, what is your favorite Smosh episode? The one that comes to mind right now is the uh, the new iPhone one. If you watched it yet, it, it's hilarious. So Power or Brenda Vico asks, have you ever talked to your wife about a child? Of course we have, but my wife is in a very demanding job right now. And un until her schedule frees up, there's just no time for kids. Now, Poonch CP, I know that tomorrow is your first day in high school. so. This question about advice for incoming high school freshmen, I hope uh, got to you in time. High school's rough. I wasn't the most popular kid in high school, so you might be taking advice from the wrong guy. But it's important to remember that you're gonna be nervous going to a new school with a lot of the older kids. And it's important to remember that you're not the only one that is an incoming freshman and scared just like you. Everyone else is, and there's nothing wrong with that. But as far as your entire high school career, have fun and be yourself. I feel like I could have had a lot more fun in high school if I wasn't so worried about what other people thought. You have plenty of time to get older and worry about things and have responsibilities. So enjoy yourself, but not too much. Don't neglect your studies because your performance in high school can have a real bearing and effect on what your future career is. I don't want to make you nervous. I didn't do particularly well in high school, but I got into the college that I wanted to go to. And it wasn't because I worked hard in high school. I could have worked a lot harder and probably should have worked a lot harder. I just got lucky. Believe me, ask my parents. There were a few times in high school where they probably wanted to kill me. Penguin Scoop One asks about the Dream Act and tried to push their question ahead so that I would answer it last week, but I just couldn't get to it. So I get what you tried to do there, and I'm sorry I didn't follow through for you. But do I like ketchup or tomatoes? I like both, and I even like them together, especially on a burger. Brandon Cunningham and Sig Kai Lua ask, one asks, if Grazer is not a girl, then are you a girl? And the other asks, are you a boy? Uh, I think you guys both know the answer to that. I hope so. Okay, Toon Two Boy has a bunch of questions for me here. Here, here, I saved your life from falling into the sun. Now here is my question. Can you make me famous? Everyone, meet Toon Two Boy. 
He's now famous. Spell I cup. I see. Hey, I know what you're trying to do there. Why are you so mean? Just making me famous. But I think I just did. Are you not famous from that? Because that's about as famous as I am able to give you. What's the baddest thing you did as a kid? Well, it wasn't something that I did, but I was involved in the activity when I was in high school. Let's just say it had to do with a metal trash can, the third floor of a hotel room, some poop <laughs> at a school sponsored event. Not recommended. And I got suspended for a week. Have you ever gotten a haircut that was so bad you needed to stay home from school? No, I haven't. Have you ever been bitten by a person? Yes, my sister used to bite me a lot. Have you ever peed in a swimming pool? Come on, who hasn't? And I'm gonna save the next one for the next episode of Asking Noodles because that's a common question and it was voted up like 17 times. So I want to give that person credit for asking it as well. The Jake Show 2 asks, why did you eat my bald dog frog hamburger while I was in the bathroom? Wait, that was a bald dog frog hamburger? I thought that was a cheesy frog dog sandwich. Chocolate Webkins 9090 asks, did you steal my pizza? Yep, and I ate it all. So now what are you gonna do? Lemon Yo-Yo's asks, would you rather be the wisest man alive or the record holder for making the most noodles come out of your nose? <laughs> well, when you see those right next to each other, those are two opposites, right? I mean, the wisest man alive, guy with noodles out of his nose must be one of the dumbest men alive. Um, I like noodles, but I'm gonna have to go with the wisest man alive. Cupcake and Tech asks, where did you put my chocolate flavored bald sandwich? How dare you? Where do you think I put it? Didn't you watch the last Ask Think Noodles? I love sandwiches. I eat them on the air. Club Penguin subscriber asks, can I have your Mac? No, no you can't. And if you want it, you have to pry it from my cold dead hands. Super Spike 23 CP asks, Think noodles, what is your favorite flavor of noodles? Now that's interesting because pasta is kind of a noodle. And then there's, there are various kinds of Asian noodles, there's ramen noodles. But I have to say, if you guys haven't had it before, you must try fresh ramen noodles. Not the ones from a package, but at a restaurant where they actually make the noodles fresh and stretch them. Amazing. More awesome than you, 66 asks, Dear Think Noodles, did you know that 97% of girls like bald guys? Of course I knew that. Why else would I be talking about being bald all the time? Angela, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 asks, Did you know there's a thing called a bald cap? It covers your baldness with more baldness, but only if you're bald. Shouldn't they call that like the epic baldness cap because it makes your baldness even balder? They get my point, asks. Taco? No. Chimichanga. Taylor Swift fan 5600 asks, Please answer, if you could have a dog frog, would you also want a bald cat bird? Now a cat bird sounds like the funniest thing in the world because cats always chase birds. So this, this cat bird would be in conflict with itself all the time. Sunny Sunshine asks, Dear Think, which came first, the penguin or the egg? Well, the egg, right? Because then the penguin came from the egg. But then where did the egg come from? Then it would have to come from a penguin. The penguin would lay the egg and then it would make a baby penguin, right? But where did that adult penguin come from? That would be an egg, and then a penguin, and then an egg, and then a penguin, and then... All right, headache. I'm done with this one. <laughs> Think Noodles, why in the world did you take the dog to the pancake house when the dog wanted to go meet a sheep monkey? Are you kidding? That's all my dog ever wants to do. Sheep monkey this, sheep monkey that. You know, sometimes I've got to eat, and I'm going to a pancake house. Sig Kailua asks, do you like bald pie with pony candy on top? <sighs> well, I do like bald pie, but just the pony candy uh, throws it off a bit. Hey, Think Noodles, if you had to meet a boy pop star, would it be Justin Bieber, Cody Simpson, or One Direction, or the bald band? You choose. Well, I'll have to say that the people you described in most of that are not my favorites. So, the bald band. The Jake Show 2 asks, will you still be playing CP and Pop Tropica by the time you're an old man? Jake, I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> the next person asks, if you won the lottery, would you buy a lifetime supply of noodles or pizza and become king, or buy the universe Wi-Fi from aliens? I'm gonna have to go with being king of pizza and noodles. And now I'm hungry. 
LPS Lily J asks, think, how did you become the most subscribed channel on YouTube? Well, I'll just tell you guys how so you can do it too. Here's what you